Hey guys, how's it going? I am back from two weeks of forcing myself not to make videos, and it was it was rough. Um, th though I forgot that there's that there's that whole thing about you know you, you go and you want to shoot a video and then you're like I gotta I gotta brush my hair and you can't get the part going and I just rediscovered that today. It's a terrible thing. It plagues many of us, and yeah. Um, so here's here's the news. Uh, new setup. Um, the design here is, where did I put the thing? Yeah, there's a thing. Ah, I have this. This is a, an RF remote for two outlet switches. Because there's a softbox up there, there's a softbox over there, and I can turn them off. Like that. And now look how beautiful this is. There's still a light directly behind the camera. It's like my actual lamp, but it is so dark in comparison. The camera is, is set to expose for this light. Um, Anyway, and this camera is kind of nestled, nestled, nestled? Yeah, nestled in a corner. I've got my desk over here. Um, the whole idea is that I was, I've been thinking a lot about kind of, because uh, I've had these two weeks, and the whole goal of that was to figure out what it is that I wanted to do on YouTube, what it was that was holding me back, what it was that I was doing well, with all, the, all of the thinks. Um, and what I discovered while trying to do the thinks is that there are some questions that I don't even have fully fleshed out and some things that I don't even know how to begin to start to answer. Um, so like, as I was trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do next year? Well, that kind of depends on what my long-term goals are. Well, what are my long-term goals? Well, I, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I, in, in a sense, I would like to do eventual uh, serial or long-form content, uh, you know, like a web series or you know, short films or things like that. I was like, okay, well, why don't I start doing that? And I was thinking, I don't have the necessary requirements to do that sort of thing yet. Um, but there's no reason that it has to be, that it has to be like, okay, well, I'm going to stop doing blog type stuff and I'm going to make crappy short films until I can make good ones. I can transition into a particular direction. Um, but even then, I'm not entirely sold on, I'm gonna put this down, on the idea also, there's a little desk thing over here, so I can have a soda between takes. I should stop drinking soda, I'm going to die soon if I don't change my lifestyle. But what was I talking about? Okay, here's the thing, and also you notice I'm doing junk cuts within the vlog channel now, which is kind of something new. I, I would cut if there was like a significant time change in the past, there's a hair. There's value to thinking about the things that you can actually work toward, but then there are places where it's just, you know, if I obsess about this and figure out, well, what exactly do I want my content to be? What exactly, you know, should I have a schedule? Should I not, should I blah? If you are not in a position where you have the necessary information to completely answer the question, then spending all of your time thinking about those questions is not particularly useful. In fact, it's mostly just pointless. But what you can do when you're brainstorming and mind mapping and think thinking is you can try and broaden out the questions that you're asking and think, well, what are the things that would just make my life a little bit better and make my life a little bit easier? Or what are some questions that I just haven't considered? And one of those questions that I was actually able to make some progress on is what is it that makes it difficult for me to do videos some of the time. And I have a lot of answers to that question. One is that I have a wonderfully diverse and disparate audience, which is a great thing, but it does mean that if I put out a particular video, there are going to be some people who will like it and some people who do not like it. And a lot of that has to do with the style of video that it is. Sometimes I make hilarious comedy stuff because I'm a genius like that. And sometimes I make reflective stuff and sometimes I make like, we are going to discuss how terrible this thing that I am going to lecture you on is is because I'm a jerk like that. And one of the things that I struggled with before the hiatus was figuring out, okay, I want to make all of these things, but I also want people to be able to see stuff that they would expect in the channel. And so you have that struggle between how predictable, not predictable, but how consistent do I want my content to be and how true to myself do I want it to be. And then I realized, you know what? Um, this vlog channel, I, I stopped doing daily vlogs and it became more of a reflective thing. In fact, it started out that way. Uh, let's be honest, it was mostly like, I made a video, but I want to actually talk about things too. So there's no reason that I can't move some of the more serious or even ranty stuff onto this channel. And so that's what that's going to be. So you're going to see a fair bit more of this camera, uh, I, though I still, I still have a vlogging camera. Sometimes you'll see vlogging camera stuff if I have some thinks whilst I'm on the road or if I feel like standing over there. Some, sometimes. 
And the second thing that makes it hard to do what I do is the process of actually making a video, that you have an idea for something that you want to do, or you don't have an idea, but you're like, I'm going to turn the camera on and make a thing. And uh, then there's a whole series of steps. You pick up the bed, you move it out of there. You work up the energy, you set up the lights, you set up the camera. You maybe write a script, you should probably have done that already. You hit yourself over the head for not writing a script. What were you thinking, you idiot? That's pretty typical for me. And then there's the process of importing the footage and waiting for it to pre-render and then edit, doing a rough cut and then actually editing and then getting all the graphics and all the blah and then doing the editing and then rendering and then uploading. And it's a long amount of time. The idea that you, you have an idea and you know, if you have an idea that fits in 140 characters, it takes roughly two seconds to share that out. If you have an idea that is more appropriate for video form, it's a 12 hour venture. But um, there's, the funny thing is that there's no, there's no part of it that I don't love, but it's also a matter of, I need as much time as possible to focus on things. If I had, if it took no time to render, I could spend more time editing because every time, no matter how, <laughs> no matter how much time it takes to actually put something out, I always feel like, well, if I had more time, I could have done more. So there's still an impetus to completely try and streamline the process of actually making stuff so that you can focus the time in the places where it will help. And that's what leads me to this camera setup because it means I don't have to pick up my bed. I can literally just roll over here. I also have a chair. That's a new thing too. And I, no, I had a chair before, but I have a wheelie chair now. It's like a desk chair. Before I was using like a, a dinner table chair that it's actually ridiculously comfortable. But the point of the setup is that it lets me keep the camera and the lights and everything in place, ready to do what I want them to do at the right time so that I can spend more time focusing on writing scripts and making things better and editing and all of that sort of stuff. And also, I can keep my bed in one place. And and as someone who rarely sleeps, that, that probably doesn't matter much, but it's it's a significant life improvement. That's all I really wanted to say. This is my update. I, I, I've got some other stuff to record for other channels, so I'm going to go do that. Bye!